The Phillies put on an all-time choke job in Game 4 of the NLDS. Now, we know the offense has had struggles, they're striking out a ton, they're not coming up clutch, and the bullpen has been the worst in the postseason by far. So by those two metrics, the Phillies outdid themselves. It was amazing what transpired in this game, and you, you just have to watch it. So Jose Quintana started for the Mets, and he was having a great game. I mean, the Mets have gotten good start after good start in the postseason, which has really helped them out. A couple of strikeouts there. And immediately the Mets, another team that has had issues coming up clutch, there's Mark Vientos. He got himself a double that's a walk to Brandon Nimmo, and Ranger Suarez is getting into trouble. A little chopper, Alec Bohm's going to bobble it. Initially, they call out Pete, but and there's Speedy Pete Alonso getting down the line. You see on the replay, his foot does barely get in there ahead of the throw. But in this game, it was a competition. Who could fail with runners in scoring position more? And initially, it was the Mets. Two big strikeouts from Ranger Suarez. Lagging him out of it. Here's the second inning. Two runners on. A slow roller. And again, Alec Bohm having a tough game in the field. Bases loaded for the Mets. And they do nothing. A ground ball from Nimmo. Harper takes it to the bag. And once again, Houdini. Ranger Suarez. Here in the fourth, Nick Castellanos. He's got Bryce Harper on first. Going to bring him to third. Second and third. Bohm's got his own chopper and Mark Vientos. We saw this earlier in the series. He bobbles it, can't make a play, and that's going to get the Phillies their first run and their only run of the ball game because they would squander the rest of these opportunities and get the next two batters out, the flyout from Bryson. We look at the fifth, Suarez taken out after he put two runners on base. There's only one out. Pete Alonso froze by Jeff Hoffman, and another great pitch by him, who Hoffman got punched like one of those punching machines at a bar in game one. So it's great to see him fired up in the sixth Phillies would have another outstanding opportunity to score Harper he's got himself a leadoff double you'd think probably runs here Castellanos gonna strike out off a great splitter from Reed Garrett Bohm will walk Rio Muto swings and misses at a sweeper down the middle again the Phillies just really piss poor at bats in this game and in comes David Peterson to get him out of it we move to the bottom of six and here's where all hell breaks loose now I don't know if Jeff Hoffman was really nervous. Maybe he was sweating, and that's why he couldn't grip the ball. Uh, but everything implodes in the sixth inning compared to how good he looked previously. That's two balls that are absolutely errant. He spikes that. JD's going to move up to second base. Here's Starling Marte. He's going to wear one on the elbow guard. And another pitch that spiked. Two wild pitches within two batters, and now two runners in scoring position. Jeff Hoffman is really struggling he can't find the plate loads the bases now he would stay in for one more batter and he get Francisco Alvarez Turner throws it to home plate get the force out but still bases loaded Rob makes a slow walk to the mound and here's Carlos Davis who didn't look great yesterday and he's gonna face Francisco Lindor who's had some huge moments already in the postseason and he's about to have another one now I'm no Mets fan by any mean but I'm a baseball fan, and damn it when I tell you, I got chills down my spine watching this at bat and seeing City Field just unglue itself. A grand slam as the Mets take the lead. The Phillies had other chances too. Here's Kyle Schwarber. He grounds into a double play in the seventh. That ends that possible rally. And we move on to the ninth where Edwin Diaz has a comfortable three-run lead but it's never going to be quite that easy. Not for the New York Mets. Two walks back to back to open up. And Mets fans are thinking, oh my God, we've seen this before. Here's two back to back fuck you fastballs as Edwin's going to strike out Cody Clemens. Brandon Marsh off a great inside four seamer. That's going to get the second out all down to Kyle Schwarber. And again, 101 on the black. That is is all folks that is it for the Philly season they finally were able to capture the NL East crown yet this is their earliest elimination in the past 
three years. I don't want to say I can't believe it because when you look at the numbers, the Phillies bullpen had a 10.91 ERA. It is impossible to win when your bullpen is consistently shitting the bed night in and night out. Now, the offense did them no help, but it was an all-out implosion. One of the nastiest chokes I've ever seen in the postseason. And as for the Mets, I'm super happy for them. First championship series trip since 2015, and this team looks great. The bullpen's been more shored up these last couple of nights. They... Did still struggle with runners in scoring position, but ultimately they got the big hit when they needed it most. And I'm really looking forward and honestly scared if I'm a team going up against the Mets in the next round.